Hi there, I'm Victoria and in this video I'll show you how to backup a WordPress site. Let's go! Have you ever experienced an error while visiting a website? Probably more than once, right? But some errors can also make a website stop working or even wipe its entire data, especially if caused by security issues like malware or hacking. And that's where backups play an essential role. A WordPress backup is a copy or duplicate version of your site that you can use to recover it in case of emergency. It can be stored within your hosting account or an off-site location. If you don't have any backup files, there's a risk of having to recreate your website from scratch which will make you lose credibility and revenue, especially if you run an online business. To prevent it from happening, I'll guide you through the several ways to backup a WordPress website. Let's start with a manual backup. You can conduct manual backups using an FTP client. In this video, I will guide you using FileZilla and Hostinger's HPanel. Log into your hosting account, select Hosting on the menu bar, find your website name and click Manage. Scroll down to the Files section and click on FTP Accounts. You will find the FTP hostname, FTP username and FTP password. You can click on Change FTP password if you have not yet set your FTP password or want to change it. Then open FileZilla on a new window and paste all the FTP details in the Quick Connect section. Fill the host text box with the FTP IP, users with your FTP username, and port with the number 21 as shown on HPanel. Hit the Quick Connect button to connect to the FTP server. If you encounter an unknown certificate message, simply check Always Trust this certificate in the future sessions and click OK. Now that your hosting account is connected to FileZilla, you will get to access all the website files here. Look for WordPress folder within domains directory, then right-click on the site's public HTML folder and select Download. FileZilla will notify you once all your WordPress files are downloaded to your computer. Now you also need to backup the site's database via phpMyAdmin. From the hosting menu on your HPanel, scroll down on the database section and click on phpMyAdmin. Find your site's database name from the list of the current databases, then click the Enter PHP My Admin button. Tick the Check All box at the bottom of the page to select all tables and click Export. Select SQL from the Format drop-down menu and hit Go to start the download. After completing all the steps, you now have all website backup files on your computer. If you prefer not to use FTP client, you can also download your files directly from HPanel. So first, log in to your hosting account, then under the hosting menu, click on the Manage button next to your website name. Scroll down to the Files section and click on Backups menu. After that, choose a date from the drop-down menu before clicking on Next Step button. Next, select the files. You can conduct partial backup or select the public HTML folder to backup the entire site. Then click Download and wait until the process is finished. Now don't forget to also backup the database files. Under the same section, click Select on Database Backups, choose your database name, then click Show Database. Choose the desired date and click Download. Both the website and database backup files will be available in the backup section of your HPanel. If you use Hostinger single or shared hosting plans, you will automatically get weekly backups, but you have the option to add daily backups to your current hosting plans. If you prefer, you can also backup your WordPress website using Updraft Plus plugin. Keep in mind that each plugin may have a different interface, but the overall method should be similar. Open the plugin menu on your WordPress admin dashboard, then choose Add New. Type Updraft Plus on the search plugin bar and click Enter. Once you find the plugin, install it and click Activate. Next, navigate through Settings and choose Updraft Plus Backups. Click the Backup Now button on the Backup Restore tab to backup your site manually. A pop-up will appear, so you can choose to include a database backup, specific files like themes and plugins, or you can choose both. Then click Backup Now. Once finished, the backup entry will appear under the existing backup section on the same page. 
you'll be able to restore, download or delete backups from this section. You can schedule automatic backups by going to the Settings tab, then choose your preferred time from the drop-down menu. After that, choose the elements you wish to backup automatically, then save the changes. Now that you have downloaded the backup files, let's go over the steps to restore your data. Using an FTP client, you will need to upload the website backup files back to your site. First, connect to the FTP client and open the public HTML folder on the right side of the screen. Then navigate to the folder containing the downloaded files on the left side of your screen. Select the files that you want to upload and right-click on them. After that, click Upload to begin importing. Now, you should also import the database tables via phpMyAdmin. On each panel, scroll down to the Database section, choose phpMyAdmin and then enter phpMyAdmin. Next, click Choose File button to find the files. They should be in .sql or .sql.zip formats. Leave the rest of the settings as they are and click the Go button at the bottom of the page. On each panel, restoring your website files requires the same steps as downloading them. You need to go to the Backup section, choose the Select button under the Files Backup menu, select the date and you will find your backup files. Select the ones to restore and click on the Restore Files button. On the pop-up window, click Restore once again and wait until the process is complete. After that, restore your database files by clicking on the Select button under the Database Backups menu. Choose your database name and date and then click on Restore. Click Restore on the pop-up window and wait until the restore process is finished. Using a WordPress plugin, the restore process is rather simple. Navigate to the Settings section on the WordPress admin dashboard, then choose Updraft plus Backup. Under the Backup Restore tab, find the Backup History under the Existing Backup section. Select Restore, choose the components to restore, then click Next. Finally, hit the Restore button and wait until the process is finished. So those are three different methods on how to backup a WordPress website. How often you should perform a website backup will depend on the updates you apply to the site's content or design. Whenever there is a significant change, for instance, when you publish a new post or update your site's theme, it's a good practice to generate a new backup files. Even though a lot of web hosting providers, including Hostinger, allow you to set up automatic site backups, I recommend storing copies of your website files and database in different locations as well. If you have other questions about conducting a WordPress backup, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments and we'll be glad to help. If you find this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to Hostinger Academy channel and see you in the next one.